All right, gang, this is Kendall with TC Fit. We have strength going on. I'm just getting my watch on here. Strength for the next 25 minutes. Now, grab yourself a set of medium to heavy, about 10 to 15 pounds, and then a lighter set of dumbbells, anywhere between five, eight, maybe 10, okay? Depending on where your strength is. Let's get going with our warm up. So knee to chest, alternating knee to chest. You can give yourself a little hinge at the top, a little hip opener if you want. All right, keep it going. Couldn't get my watch on here. Exercise, fitness training, boom. Okay. I hope everyone had a great weekend. We are gonna hit it hard today. Let's get our bodies moving. One more each. Last one, good little quad stretch, alternating. Waking up those quads, your hamstrings, about two to three seconds each side, and then switch. So more of that dynamic motion. So again, we have three blocks of exercises. In each block, we start with one minute of a low body exercise, and then you have a one minute of an upper body, and then one minute of core. And then we have a 20 second push. All right, one more each. Let's do some body weight squats. Waking up our balance, right? <laughs> balance is always tough on Mondays. Depending on what you did over the weekend. Good, squeezing your glutes at the top. Five more. And three, two, and one. Reverse lunges, alternating, alternating. Ankles, knees, hips. Now our first exercise, you're gonna grab your medium to heavy, so tens or higher, for a reverse lunge. Go ahead and stop, grab your dumbbells. We're gonna go in three seconds. I'll show you what that looks like. Go ahead and begin. Now you have a reverse lunge, shift it forward, together, other side, reverse lunge, shift, together. Now that back leg is uh, lengthening. You're hinging forward from your hips. So it's a little bit more lateral hamstrings and glute need as you hinge forward. Awesome, keep it up. And we stay here for one minute. Our next exercise, all upper body. You got it. This is also a great pelvic floor exercise. 15 seconds. 10. We have a rotator cuff exercise with a bicep curl. Three, two, one, standing, palms facing up, open, close, curl. Open, close, curl. All upper body. Now, if this is not heavy enough, switch out for a heavier weight. If it's too heavy, swap out for a lighter weight. Just like that, easy peasy. All right, my four month old has reverted back to infant stage of waking up every two hours. So that has been lovely. It's that four month sleep regression. Woo, it's tough. All right, 20 seconds, 20 seconds. Lighting up your biceps, your shoulders. Next step, we have an offset balance exercise with an arm reach. Five seconds. Three, two, one. Balance on your right leg. Quadricep. You're gonna extend and bend. Extend and bend, okay? So same arm as leg. If you need to swap out for a lighter dumbbell, go ahead and do so. I'm probably gonna do that. <laughs> I have a five. Now it's called an offset exercise because that weight is gonna wanna pull you off to one side. Doing good. 
We'll come back on the second round to do the other side. Almost there. We have our 20 second push, which is jumping squats, jumping squats. 10 seconds. You got it. Oh, we're gonna feel your quads tomorrow. Five, three, two, one. Set your weight down, jumping squats, jumping squats. Another option, rise up to the balls of your feet for a low impact option. Speed, go. All out, all out. Let's go. Time to work. Three, two, one. You get 30 seconds off. Block one done. Second, you're gonna grab one of your medium to heavy. One medium to heavy. We have an offset racked squat. Okay, we have about 15 seconds left. Let's start with the weight up to your left shoulder, left shoulder. Here we go in three, two, one, and go down and up. Now for this one, we're gonna stick to one side for this full minute. Slow it down if need be. Shoulders and hips stay square. Doing good. Next up, we have a half kneeling shoulder press. Same arm. Twenty seconds. Now you can look forward to a nice burpee in the second round. Ten seconds. Five. Three, two, one. Bring your left knee down. Shoulder press. Here we go. Using our exhale to press. Inhale lower. Think about decelerating on that motion down. Keep it narrow, slow to bring it down. A little more triceps. Now, we're gonna go into a plank exercise next. A little plank variation. Okay, Sue, so we gotta remember what arm we did the first round. <laughs> we have a bare plank coming up next, 10 seconds. Abs drawn in, three, two, one, all fours. Knees are hovered, hold it here. Knees hovered, hold it here. Pulling up and out of your shoulders. Draw your navel toward your spine. Squeeze your glutes. Now gang, once this one minute up, is up, we're going right into burpees, 20 seconds. Whoo, I told you, we came here to work. Now send your legs straight, high plank, high plank. More than halfway there. 20 seconds, you got it. Staying strong. Bend it back into that low bear hold. Less than 10. Burpees five, four, three, two, one. Let's go, pull it in. Stand it up, down. Now I'm gonna do a modified version just because I'm very early postpartum. Speed, how many reps can you get in? Go, 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 five, four, three, two, one. That's it, 30 seconds is yours, awesome job. Okay, our third block, third and final block. We have curtsy lunges. You're gonna grab your medium to heavy dumbbells. Whoo. 15 seconds, how we doing out there? We got curtsy lunges coming up next, gang. We go in five, 
three, two, and one. Grab your dumbbells. I'm gonna do this body weight just because I need to listen to my body a little bit more. So stepping back to a diagonal, feet are slightly turned out. Glute need. Coming up next, you're gonna swap out for your lighter dumbbells, fives or eights. You have a lateral to a V raise. And we're only gonna run through this twice. 15 seconds. Five, three, two, and one. Lighter dumbbells out to the side. And then V, 45 degrees to the side. V raised forward. Think about scooping your shoulders under, especially when it comes to your forward raise. We wanna keep it out of your upper traps. Stay into your deltoids, biceps, pecs. Stay out of it, up, or upper traps. Exhale, lift, inhale, lower. Shoulders. Soft bend to your knees. Doing good. You can move around if you want to. 10 seconds. We're gonna bring it back down for a plank walk. Plank walk. Three, two, one. Here we go. So, down, down. Up, up. Option, all fours. Lengthen at your hips or all the way up to your feet. Now I want you to focus on keeping your hips as stable as you can. No movement. I mean, there's gonna be a little bit of movement, let's be honest here, but just so that you're not completely twisting and turning through your hips. Alternate right, left, left, right. Now, you have 20 seconds left, then our all-out push is Mount Climbers. Speed with this as fast as you can go. Keep it up, you have five, four, three, two, one. Climb that mount, let's go. Speed. You get a 30 second break coming up next, then we run through it one more time. Five, three, two, one, whoo! Awesome, stretch it out. Move it around. Brain quiz, first exercise. Think of what it was. It was your reverse lunge to that shift forward. So you're gonna grab. Medium to heavy dumbbells, medium to heavy. Let's get situated here. We go in five, three, two, and go. So reverse, shift it forward, stand it together. Other side, alternating. I'm gonna give you a visual here. Think of like those bird baths and the bird dipping its beak into the water and kind of plunging forward, and the back stays straight. That's what you want to think of here. As you send your back leg straight, squeeze that glute. Lots to think of, always. 20 seconds. And we go into our rotator cuff with our bicep upper body. Head stays in line with the spine. You got five. And here we go. Palms up. Open, close, curl. Open, close, 
curl. Woo! Offset, single leg balance, that quad extension to the arm reach is next. Now at home, you're gonna be balanced on your left leg. Sue, we're on our right. I remember that correctly. 20 seconds. Draw your shoulders back. Keep your shoulders stable so that you're not engaging and squeezing in the back. This is the one exercise we don't wanna squeeze our shoulder blades together. Five seconds. Three, two, one and go. Balanced on your left leg. Weight is in the right hand. Extend and bend. So whether your leg is up higher to extend or lower, what I want you to focus on is using your transverse abdominals to keep your spine stable. So if you're finding that you're wibbling and wobbling, Maybe lower it down a little bit. It's okay. Whole body is working with this. We have 20 seconds of jumping squats coming up next. All out. Tall posture. You're almost there. Last time we're doing this. 10. Here we go in three, two, one quick transition. Let's go. Jumping squats. Speed. Again, I'm showing you the modification. Burn out your quads. Think height with this. How high can you go with your jumps? Go, go. Three, two, push it. One, and rest. 30 seconds off. Okay. We have our offset racked squat. Weight is in your right hand for your squats. Medium to heavy. Fans going on in here. <laughs> Grab your dumbbell. Dig into the right hand. So we got our left. Wide stance, or er, feet, uh, hip distance part, sorry. A little bit wider, here we go. Down and up, down and up. And this is another sneaky way of adding core in. But if you're handling a heavier weight, which is totally fine, make sure it is not loading your low back. It should be loading your core and your legs. 30. We go into our half kneel shoulder press coming up next. Sink it low. Let's squat. Ten seconds. Five. Right knee comes down. Right knee comes down. Let's go. Bring it down. And press. Now, we are controlling that press. Make sure you're not thrusting your hips forward and sinking into your back. Tall posture here. Another option, if that single arm is too much, hold the ends of, of the bell and you can do both arms. Whew. We got our bear plank coming up next. Shoulders are not done. Ten seconds. Ugh. Three, two, one. Dumbbell comes down. Low hover. Here we go. Lift and hold. Think of your breath pattern here. Inhale, expand your rib cage. Exhale, think about pulling everything up 
and in. Doing good. Send your legs straight, high plank. High plank. Squeeze your glutes. Ooh, shoulders are burning. You have five seconds. Then we burpee and go. Burpees, burpees. Down, down, up, up. As fast as you can. Oh, I know it sucks. I know. You can curse me at home. You can scream. I won't hear you. It's okay. Three, two, one. Rest. 30 seconds off. Oh, burpees. Okay. We got curtsy lunges. This is our last block of work. Think of it this way. You got three minutes and 20 seconds left of work. That's it. It's like nothing. Okay. Grab the weights that you want for your curtsy lunges because we go in less than 10 seconds. Five. Okay, shake it out. Let's go. Down and up. Now we'll have the 2023 schedule coming out soon here. We've added um, some classes with more live music so that we're not recording. So we're switching up the music a little bit more. Helps with motivation, right? A little bit more fun. We're adding in some equipment. So stability balls, uh, gliders or plates at home, long fitness bands. We gotta switch it up, right? 20 seconds. Per usual, if you have any feedback, send it to us. We love to hear from you. Five seconds. Lateral to V-raise. And go. Grab your lighter dumbbells. Scoop your shoulders under. Exhale, lift. Inhale, lower. Uh, cardio wise, Monday workouts are so hard. I feel it too. I'm there with you. No momentum, controlled lift. Okay, gang, we're almost there. You can have a plank walk, mountain climbers done. That's it, that's it. Home stretch, 10 seconds. Five, three, two, one, plank walk. Down, down, up, up. So again, I'm doing a modified version. And you can do it this way at home as well. If you wanna do an elevated plank, this is a good way of kind of building up your strength for a full plank. You're still getting that arm workout in. More than halfway there. Then we're climbing our last mountain, that's it. No pun intended. All right, here we go. We got 10 seconds. Let's get prepared. Let's push. Five, four, three, two, one, go. How fast can you go? This is it. Last 20 seconds. You're rolling into that gas station with just a little bit left in that, that tank. This is it. Roll it out. Three. Two, one, done. Awesome job. Keep it down to the ground. Keep it down to the ground. 
Stretch it back to a child's pose. Woo! Slowly roll it back up. Let's stretch our hips. Bring your left foot forward. Little pelvic tilt. And open up through your hips. Ah. Okay, now it's done. You don't have to think about your workout for the rest of the day. It's the best part. Send your front leg straight, square out your hips, hinge it forward, let's stretch your hammies. And go ahead and release, let's do the same thing, other side. Right foot forward, little pelvic tilt, and little lunge. Nice tall posture. It's good to be back. I miss you guys. Send your front leg straight. Hinge it forward. I think I stopped teaching classes. What was it? I think I was like 30, 30 weeks pregnant. So it's, it's been like five or six months. And go ahead and release. Bring yourself up to a standing. And hands back behind your head, elbows wide. Just nod your chin in toward your chest, stretching your upper traps, the back of your neck. Good one to do throughout the day. Bring your head back up, cross one arm over. Now here's the other thing I always forget to do. Stop my watch. I swear, I keep it running for like a good hour afterwards. And go ahead and switch. And go ahead and release. That's it, you guys. You made it. Stop your watches. That is it. We will see you for our take 10 tomorrow. And then strength on when or I'm sorry, and then class on Wednesday and Thursday. Okay? Alright. See you next time.